This is Debbie from the Deegan's Teen Library with the review of five new nonfiction books that we have received. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about, I had actually read, and it was a very interesting book. It's called A Hunger to Kill by Kim Nagger. Uh, this author, Kim, is a retired police detective from Ashland, Ohio. But in 2016, when she was still working in this small town, an emergency dispatcher received a 911 call from a frantic woman saying she was being held hostage. For three days, serial killer Sean Gray molested and beat her. She was the only known survivor no one had realized at the time there were two other victims in the same house. One was in the basement pi underneath piles of garbage and the other one was in left in a closet. I, he was convicted due to the author's excellent interrogation skills. Over a period of eight days, and 30 hours, she interviewed him, risking her safety by being at times in this room, interrogation room with him alone. Major successfully got him to confess to five murder and sexual assaults of women in Ohio. He received a death sentence and is scheduled for execution in 2025. Uh, he originally was to be executed in 2023, but it was an, it was delayed. The next book I have should be of interest to maybe several of you people. Uh, it is called Instigations of the Devil. It's by author John Paul III. Uh, this is a true murder story from Danville, Pennsylvania. The accused, William J. Clark and Mary Twiggs, were prosecuted for the supposed ar arsenic poisoning of their spouses, occurring over a period of time between April 29th and May 9th, 1857. Uh, the district attorney claimed that part of the reason For the deaths of their spouses was, and I have it in quotes, investigation of the devil, hence the title of the book. Uh, the defense claims that the trial should have never happened because details of what took place outside the courtroom revealed troubled inconsistencies and people wondering if these two were wrongly put on trial. Very interesting, and of course, it's about a local town in our area. The next book I have is Codenamed Nemo by Charles Lachman. Uh, two days before D-Day, World War II, uh, the hunters in the Atlantic Ocean become the hunted. The U.S. Anti-Submarine Task Group seizes a Nazi U-boat, its crew, and the secrets that are held in this U-boat. The story is told by both sides of so sailors and soldiers. Uh, after this is successful capture, no one breathed a word of what happened to U-505. In Berlin, the Germans thought it was blown to bits and everyone lost at sea. All the secrets of U-505 were in the hands of the Americans. 59 German soldiers were imprisoned in a POW camp in Ruston, Louisiana until the release in 1946. Uh, the book contains stories from both sides, both German and American, of what happened during that fateful event. Next book is JFK Jr. by Rosemarie Terenzio and Liz McNeil. 
This is an oral biography written by Rosemarie Terenzino, his executive assistant and chief of staff for his now defunct magazine, George. Sharing never before told stories by friends, classmates, teachers, and colleagues, we read of his spotlight from birth to the end of his short life. John's life was filled with ambition, family, and family pressures, love, and the very public sorrow of his death. It explores the what ifs and possibilities of his cultural and political moments that could have been. That's all for this month with our new nonfiction books. If you're interested in any of them, they will be out on the shelf and you can also call at 286-2461 and you can have us pull them off the shelf for you or if they have already been checked out, you can be put on a whole list. Looking forward to talking to you next time. Thank you.